All nations, rich or poor, have one thing in common, and that is the need for the efficient use of their available arable land. Arable land means fertile soil, the soil from which everything grows. Healthy fertile soil is a composite of water, oxygen, bacteria, and organic matter. When these elements come together, they form a living entity that processes the organic matter into the critical nutrients that plants need in order to grow and thrive. Look at all that food here. You say it, it's never been like that? I know. That is crazy. I can't even pull them apart. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the more of these, so these tap roots, they don't really pick up a lot of water or nutrients. It's these little ones. The little ones Those pick up all the water, all the nutrients. That, that the plant de needs. determines all your above ground growth. Those yeah. tap root roots do everything below. But yeah, see, and I'm even, so these are all, this is all the rhizobium bacteria it is. nodules. These are what fix nitrogen out of the oxygen, out of the air. That. Get all dirty here. Yeah, that's all right. So you're not doing anything different on either side? You, you can't figure out what's going on? Oh, no, well, this is where they put arable one oh, over Oh, yeah, that's why. Look at the, yeah. the size of the, the root, the stalks. I mean, this one, there, there's like, here you can see more of these thicker roots. Thicker roots. Here yeah. you can't see them because of the amount of root hairs. Yeah. Right. When plants can absorb more nutrients, they're stronger, more vital, producing higher yields and healthier crops. And as an added benefit, healthier crops require less fertilizer, less pesticides, and less water. Plants typically absorb only 5 to 10 percent of the available nutrients found in the soil. When arable one is added, the nutrient uptake is increased by over 80 percent. When plants can absorb more nutrients, they're healthier and produce larger yields. Arable One is easy to use. It is simply mixed with water and then applied through the irrigation system, requiring only two quarts per acre. What are your neighbors saying? We've had them driving up and down this road, going out to see their cows out on the BLM, and they're at, they've been asking us since our first cutting what the heck we've been doing to this field. Cause it's, night and day what it was after the first cut. <laughs> This, how old is this field? This is a seven year old pivot. Seven year old, so, uh, and it was cut and first watered 10 days ago, right? 10 days ago is our, so we got our second cutting and got bales off and put water back on 10 days ago. And it's already up a foot, foot and a half in places. Well, the, the size of the leaves is absolutely astounding in here. I mean, it's, this looks like uh, a very healthy field, and the, the before pictures did not look like that. Is this the one that got burnt? This is one that got burnt, and we have another one that's a year younger than this field. Got burnt at the same time, and it it doesn't even compare to this field. Nothing to it. it doesn't even come close. And how many bales, how many acres is this field? 75 acres. The other is 125, and we actually got 15 more bales off of this cutting than we did the 125 acres. And those are the big bales? The big square bales. The one-ton bales are... The new plantings that you have on these other two fields that we treated... We treated one or both with... Both. Both with arable one? Yeah. And years past, what kind of... Uh, outcome of people had with new plantings I mean all the all the old timers have told you what uh, decent but you don't it, if you plant in the spring you only get one cutting only ever comes up about a foot, foot yeah and, a half, and we it's almost two three foot high <laughs> doesn't even compare I think 
last year with two cuttings first cutting was 114 bales almost 160 i bet we get 200 bales 200 plus bales off first cutting after the first crop was cut i gave it application of arable one this is very impressive and this is what it turned out to be i've never had this equal of a field uniformity yes all the way around ever and, and camp and this is a wore out field 15 <laughs> years old and the uh the guy that cut it was impressed too oh yes yeah yeah oh and the triticale is was uh planted last fall two quarts per acre and it's on s how many acres 10 acres well that 40 bales came off of seven to eight acres so it so five bales per acre and those were the big bales yeah those are four by threes well they're the ones you got pictures of yeah that that's unreal but that uh, and you got people uh i was telling corey you had the mechanic telling you or asking about it what did he say oh he, he says there's been two or three asking you what's that What's John Heslop got going? I heard he had some five foot grain. <laughs> and, you know, five foot grain, this. It doesn't happen. Well, it doesn't. Yeah. You'd have to have a monsoon season to, to get that, and we watered it once. Last year with the drought, it, it was uh, a tremendous reduction in water. And I have very sound, sandy ground, and I was only able to water 20, every 25 days. And everybody that I talked to said, oh, in 25 days, your tree's going to be dead. But uh, I had uh, Blue Diamond represented come. And she, uh, she was surprised that my trees looked the way they did. And I, uh, I mentioned uh, the product, and she was very impressed. My, when I first tried it, uh, I was skeptical because I, I seen the testing and also the trees, how much uh, growth they have in comparison. Uh, I'm a true believer that this is a great product. I didn't have one this size last year. Now every one is almost this size. Even if the, the outside is smaller, the inside is big. Yeah. That's almost double, isn't it? Yeah. From last year. And it's heavy. Definitely happy with the product. It's, uh, it's a, something that I will never stop using. The corn in this photograph was planted on the same day. The only difference is that the back row was treated with a single application of arable one. The arable treated corn was able to absorb 80% more nutrients from the soil and as a result grew twice as tall in the same period of time. These Haas avocados were treated with arable one. The grower reported that he had a 62% increase in profits. For the first time, he was able to produce and deliver 10 ounce avocados in December and with a 23% oil content. Arable one works on lemons, strawberries, flax crops, and roses. It can be safely applied to anything that grows. Arable One is safe, easy to apply, and low cost.